Um, this is one of the cards um, uh, from the card system that's used uh, in this case by the England Arts Organisation. It's, it's exactly the same as the card system used uh, in big BDO competitions and the like. Um, what happens is, is these cards are printed. Um, the people who run the competition uh, physically write in the player name here, what group they're in, and then in this first column they'll write in the time of the first match and the board number of the first match. Okay, so it's a, a card you, you keep it with you as a player all day. If you win your first match, you take your card back to control, control write in um, the time of the second match and the board number of the second match, and so on and so on until you either get knocked out or win. Um, good system, nice and easy to, to operate, everybody knows where they stand. What I've been working on is, um, uh, I've been collaborating a bit with Roger Boyson who, uh, who obviously wrote Darts for Windows and I've, been, I've made a template that allows Darts for Windows to generate those cards from the Darts for Windows database. So what effectively you're getting is the same card um, laid out in the same way but this time everybody, every player in the database their name is automatically filled in. Now I've seen people filling in five and six hundred of these cards manually for a big competition, like for instance in the Isle of Man. Um, the, the Arts Windows does it in seconds, and then you can print them all out like this. I don't know if you can see that, but there's there's four different names on there. You cut that into four, and it gives you an A6 size card, which is a quarter of a A4, like so. So there's no need then for the organisers to have to fill in all this because Darts for Windows does it for you. Um, up here in the design you can see in this one it's got the England logo. Now that the template I'm uploading has got nothing there. It's just got a thing that says placeholder. And I'm showing you, going to show you how you can take that out and put in your own logo like your county logo or your country logo or whatever it is that you want to put there. And then you can completely personalise the card to suit uh, your tournament. This bit across the top is taken from the card information in um, Darts for Windows as is all the information that's put on here. So everything about this is completely customizable by you. So let's get to it and I'll show you how to actually load that template. Um, the template I'll put a link to the video uh, to it in the video as well etc etc. Uh, very easy to use very straightforward, makes the job easy. So I've downloaded the template which is the uh, A6 player card blank onto my desktop. I'm going to load that into my Darts for Windows folder. I've not got Darts for Windows open, just the filing system. So open up Darts for Windows filing system. So you can see it, look for the templates folder and now what I want to do is grab that uh, A6 player card blank and drop it into that templates folder. Okay, and there you can see it, A6 player card blank. Now we can open up Darts for Windows. Okay, that's just loading in the normal way. Uh, nothing you've not seen before. I'm going to uh, load a tournament, uh, a nice big one with lots of data in. So the uh, info from the Isle of Man men's singles, uh, because there's lots and lots of info in there. I'm going to go to the assignment cards tab and then over to uh, the magnifying glass, which prints the report. Now in that current format, that's no use to us. So now what we've got to do is we've got to go into card settings, and if there's anything there, just click the brush to get rid of it, then click on open, A6 player card blank, and that puts that template in. That's where all the information is that goes on the card. Now we can go back up to um, the magnifying glass, and there's our card system printed. You can now see that it's got the, the blank space where the um, logo can go in the top right. So we can sort that by going up to uh, Show Designer, up at the top there, Show Designer. Now that shows you the actual layout of the card. Double click on the image placeholder. To change it, go over and click on the folder icon and then find the image that you want to put in there. 
I'm choosing the dartboard. It's a little bit skewed. Don't worry about that. You can change it once it's on. Once you've done it, save it. Yep, save your changes. Then go back up. Click on your uh, magnifying glass. And you've got, in this case, there's over 500 cards there. All individually numbered, individually grouped, individual times and boards for the first game. That's it, ready to go. You print those out on card and then quite simply you um, cut them, hand them out to the players. It is that simple.